Oh, it's a push, not a pull. Where's Selfie? She disappeared. <laughs> it could be Selfie. Welcome to Free's Pork Street. Oh, hi, Selfie. You look like my girlfriend. Let's just do it. We're ready, we're in it. We're already in um, it. How did you both meet? Yeah, Alva invited me to a studio and... I've heard this one before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a prequel. And then he, and later then he invited me around to watch Sopranos. And we, we didn't end up watching Sopranos. <laughs> um, in the spirit of you both living in Shoreditch... Oh no. <laughs> if you were a YBA, which YBA would you be? I, maybe Damien Hirst, because I go out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Tracy. Mm. And what about Alvaro? Chris, probably. I mean, he's definitely my mm. favorite British painter. I don't know if I would be a YBA, but I, I, I'm fans of YBA. And I'm fans of so many of them for different reasons. So many young students find a, a connection to Tracy. It's really incredible. I think similar for Damien and how brilliant he was early on and yeah all of them um what are your summer plans a few not a work we've rehearsed this question oh uh, Glastonbury, Glastonbury. Yes. what are you doing at um Glastonbury there's this relationship with Notting Hill Carnival and Glastonbury and so they asked me to come up with something I'm designing some trucks because um, trucks are a big part of Carnival. That's going to lead into a bunch of other stuff. It's like always like a, a growing process. Roisin, what are you up to this summer? I don't know yet, but uh, I'm very excited about our screening coming up. The Shasha Movies uh, screening night at Freeze Number 9 Cork Street. We're going to be yeah, showing uh, some incredible contemporary Rocky video art um, from 2017 till today. And it will be a really, uh, yeah, really great evening um, and hopefully introduce people to a load of artists um, that they haven't um, previously been aware of. How long have you been um, putting together film nights? Uh, since I was maybe like 14 or 15, I started doing these grassroots screenings for friends and then that turned into Heavy Bee Collective and then it kind of became more formalized and institutional and then I founded the streaming service Shasha Movies in 2020. So that's like my baby. We can't wait. It's going to be fun. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Have you guys been on a holiday together? Like we haven't been on like a non-work trip. But we're traveling all the... Yeah, I don't know. Where did the YBAs go on holiday? Um, Margate. <laughs> <laughs> Renee's also having a renaissance. It is. Yeah, it is. You know, I, I think Brexit hit British folks in a big way, but I feel like its disruption gave people a lot of imagination to sort of think now where, and I feel like you start seeing places like Margate really benefit from it. It just feels much more like, at least in the art world, that there's a, people are more interested now kind of looking more local. I think makes it much more exciting. I felt that when I went to Margate. You know, I remember Margate six years ago. And so different now. Yeah, I don't, I, if I want to go on a holiday in the UK, I'll go to like South London. <laughs> And do what? <laughs> I'll go to like a different area. No. Go um, to the car park in Peckham. The car park, go to, go to Peckham Levels. That's a good, hol that's a good holiday. I'll go to some galleries. Um, yeah, that's like if I, if, you know, holiday in London. One artwork for your house in Spitalfields. Anything you want, what are you going to get? Very beautiful Frida Kahlo painting. Loving this Frida vibe in here. She's probably the top five most important artists at the last hundred years. I went to an art fair, I believe it was a Frieze art fair, and um, a gallery was showing one of her casts that she'd painted on. Hmm. I think Madonna bought it. Yeah, she has the most... She has the most Frida Kahlo. I get jealous about when I hear Madonna's name. I also will say Madonna has probably had one of the most interesting lives of any human being. Like I was watching a random pod 
interview, and she's like, yeah, when I was dating Tupac, you know, just like, what a life. So we love Frida Kahlo, we love Madonna. Yeah, what well, that was great. That was a good wrap up. Yeah, we've, we've, we've hit it. We've set the world right. Thank you both for coming to Cork Street. Thank you.